Okay, so first job is to drain the oil oil. So if you slacken the sump plug, which is 21 mil. Yeah, or uh, spark plug socket. Or spark plug socket, right. And make sure it drains into a tray. There should be roughly two and a half litres of oil. Once you drain the oil, refit the sump plug and then slacken all the little 10 mil nuts to take uh, the entire plate off which conceals um, a strainer and some gaskets. And this job is quite messy so make sure you've got some trays underneath, lots of rags and wear some gloves. All the studs that uh, retain the, the strainer need to be removed. So fit a couple of nuts, the original nuts, and then use some spanners to wind them out. Now one of the studs that will be particularly difficult to undo has got a nut at the top of it here. So we're going to have to put two nuts down on to try and wind it off. If the nut spins, I have to get a screwdriver in here to hopefully slacken it. There are three uh, pickup extension tube supplied in the kit and you just need to find out which one fits because there are three different sizes so just try and fit them until you get the right one. And this will be secured with a Jubilee clip. The pickup extension tube is secured with a Jubilee clip so slide it on and you'll need a ring spanner to tighten it. That should be either a six or seven mil or a quarter inch depending on what type of tube loop it's fitted. Here's the extended sump. I just need to fit a series of studs supplied in the kit. Just wind them in to the base and then the strain will be fitted into here. I'll take the new sump, fit the bolt to it and a gasket and we're going to fit it straight up into the bottom of the engine. And once you've got one bolt fitted, it's a case of sticking the other ones through, they go into the original threads at the base of the engine. Quite a fiddly job and you'll need a long socket to uh, wind them in. And these are an M6 thread. And then using an extension and a ratchet just keep winding the bolts up progressively and the six bolts that need to be fitted. Base of the, the new sump, we fit one gasket followed by the strainer plate, the strainer, and a second gasket's going on. So this is our third gasket in total. And then we fit the plate, the additional plate then a series of 10 mil nuts and new copper washers. And the, uh, these little 10 mil nuts only need hand tightening. Don't over tighten them. I usually nip them all up and then just give them all like a quarter of a turn. The, uh, for the sump plug back in. In this case, we're fitting one with a temperature sender. A standard plug will also fit in. And again, this just needs to be hand tightened. Probably the most awkward part of the uh, entire job is refilling the engine oil. You'll need a jug with a long funnel. And just take your time and pour it through. And once you top the oil up, don't forget to fit the dipstick and check the level and the reading can be taken up onto the markings that are already on it.